So guys, in this video, I'm sorry I didn't upload it in like a week, but in this video I'm going to be ranking the underrated Marvel project. There isn't too many of them. I feel like there's like just that few though that are quite underrated and I'm going to be going through them and explaining why I think they're underrated. So let's get right into it. Quickly before I start, I just wanted to say why I took that little break. It's because I had no video ideas and also because I decided for some reason to download 1087 pictures of Spider-Man No Way Home on my phone, which there's really no point in that, but I'd done it anyway, and it took up most of my storage, so I couldn't really do any of, like, any videos that I may have had planned, because, like, that took up all my storage, so, yeah. So, guys, coming in at the last spot, I'm honestly not sure what number this is, I should have checked before, but is Thor The Dark World, and the reason Thor of the Dark World here is because like people hate on it a bit too much. I think it's quite fun and I really love the film. The reason it's in the last spot is because it's the least enjoyable and at points it can be a little bit boring. So, but people do hate on it a bit too much. Like, it's kind of pointless how much people hate on this film. It's really good. It's like really good at points, but at the same time, I I still don't like it as much. So guys. Iron Man 2 is going to be at the number 6 spot and the reason for this is because like I do really like it and I think it's really underrated people hate on it a bit too much but I think they do like like at points it can be really good but at points like obviously it's quite boring and stuff but I think it's enjoyable enough that I don't see the point in people hating on it as that much but I can see why people hate on it uh, as much as they do. So guys, I just wanted to say, I did have a video planned before. I might do this sometime in the future again, but it's like showing all my Marvel like toys and all. Oh, and the reason I decided not to do that is because I can't be bothered because I, it, it involved me walking around my house so much. Like they're scattered all over the place. I have so much. I, I feel like I've bought like, literally it feels like i've bought like 10 whole playstation 5s worth of avengers toys like how much it would cost to buy 10 ps5s that's how much avengers toys i've bought literally i've got so much um but yeah i just wanted to say a video i did have planned but i, I scrapped so guys at the number five is going to be the incredible hulk the reason i'm putting it in number five I've, is because like I feel like it is quite underrated like the best scenes can be as good as Avengers Endgame or Avengers Infinity War but the worst scenes can be Thor the Dark World level which could be really bad but it is still really really underrated like I feel like people hate on it way too much by the way in case you're wondering I'm, I am putting these least favorite to favorite while also telling you my opinions on why they're underrated and like telling you how much you're underrated so yeah so guys number four is gonna be um black widow i feel like people under like, like i feel like people like hit on it a bit much but this is one of the underrated ones that aren't way too underrated whereas the rest on this list are quite like a lot underrated like but this one isn't as much underrated i just feel like people like it, it, it should deserve a little bit more love so guys, I forgot to say, coming in at the number uh, five position, so it's in between Black Widow and so basically, um, Black Widow is number three, and and this one's actually number four. So I I should probably change that in a second, but this one's actually number. Th uh, four and Black Widow is actually number three so yeah I got that mixed up but Avengers Age of Ultron is at number four so guys before I get on to this p number I just want to quickly say that Avengers Age of Ultron is one of my favorite Marvel movies it's just there's so many that are better than it that's why I put it so low but there are a lot of people who say it isn't that good that's why I'm putting it on this list but I think there are also that fan base of Avengers Age of Ultron mixed in with the haters of Avengers Age of Ultron which I feel like it is it's relatively an even balance 
So guys, I decided to film that bit and this bit in two different clips, but coming in at the number two position is going to be The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I think it's really fun TV show to watch. I actually have a poster of it uh, there. But I, th I think it's very underrated. People say it's the worst TV show. I think it's one of the better TV shows. And a lot of people say it doesn't work. The story is off. I can admit, and people say that the villain's bad. I can admit the villain's bad. But the rest of it, no, nah, that, no. Everything else is good about it. So guys, before we get on to the number one position, I just want to let you know my next video will be this Wednesday coming up. Up like the Wednesday that's like in a couple of days because on that wednesday i'm going to be doing an obi-wan kenobi like sort of review and then also another video on that day ranking all star wars things including obi-wan kenobi because the third episode will be out then and i and the reason i'm doing it then not like soon the obi-wan kenobi thing even though the episodes just came out yesterday um the reason is because i want to like get the third episode like done with it so i know my proper opinions on it like so far but yeah i'm just giving you a heads up so you don't have to worry about like another like long break like because that was like 10 days or something it wasn't that long but you know and then also the reason that it's going to be another little break is because i have been getting up really early recently and like i've been staying up pretty late so i, I just want to work on my sleep and try and like because like i've been really tired recently because of that so i just kind of want to work on that before like i start doing videos daily because it's not helping doing videos late at night because that's when i normally tend to do them because i normally finish my videos at like 10 o'clock at night then i then like then by then i'm probably have to start get going to sleep by then and it, it doesn't help my sleeping so yeah i'm gonna try and work on my sleep before the night like like an in-between video there's videos there might be like a three or four day break so guys coming in at number one is going to be doctor strange in the multiverse of madness it's like the last star wars the last jedi version of a marvel movie because like like it's an even split between fans who love it and fans who hate it like star wars the last jedi is the most even split film over haters and lovers of it and same with Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. This is like people like it's either people have their expectations way too high, or their expectations either or their expectations were like lower. Like like mine, they're like lower, but they're not too low that I was that 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 yeah. But but I was one of those people who loved it, and that's why it's coming in at the number one at the same time as being probably the most underrated marvel film because of how many haters there are of it but yeah that's just my opinions that's just my opinions on what ones are underrated and what order they go in but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this video like subscribe goodbye